There we go. Now if I stand this far away, you can barely tell I broke it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. So, I kind of broke the front lip on my car. Um, so, at one time I went over a curb and it caught just enough that it cracked it. And the other day while I was driving into my unit here, it rubbed on the ground and broke a piece off. So, as you can see, it's pretty broken from about there. This whole piece came off, but I glued it back on and with a little bit of sharpie it covered the glue up and it honestly doesn't look too bad you know if i stand back here it's not noticeable it's a good 10 footer now next month i decided to sign up for a track day on february 5th i'm going to thunder hill west and it's going to be the first time i'm taking this out on the track so before i do that i got a couple things that i got to do first now before i go and show you what i got today i want to talk about today's sponsor which is me hey if you like what you saw smash the thumbs up button and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way the next time I post one of my videos, you guys will know. All right, so the best thing you can do to make your car handle better since I'm going to a track and handling is probably the most important on Thunder Hill West since there's not really any big straightaways. There's one, but most of it's some, you know, some good turns is wheels and tires. Now, I went out and I bought me some used wheels and tires, so they're new to me. Since they were used, they are a little bit cheaper than brand new ones, which I'm okay with. And you know, this one right here has a little bit of curb rash on it. I'm not gonna complain too much. These are gonna be my track wheels and they just have to look fine. Like from here, can't tell. They're painted over, they look all right. And they look fairly close to my old wheels, which these are SVE drifts and these are SVE, I believe it's like S350s or something like that, which, you know, it's the same company. I was happy with these, so I got me some more. All right, so some of you out there are asking, What's the difference between those and those? They're both 19 inch wheels, but there's a width difference. So my stock wheels right here are nine and a half inch wide, which I got 275s on. You know, you guys have a little bit of a look. Um, so these are the tires that I will be buying for these wheels. These wheels right now just have some Continentals on there, which they're all right, but they're not as good as these. So I'm gonna give me some of these. But the new ones, that's a 325. Look at that. Look how fat that thing is. Here, I'll put up the old tire to it. Bam. You can see it's wider. Like, here's here's my hand for reference, which I wear usually a large... Well, my fingers are dirty. But usually I wear a large glove, so you guys have an idea. That's how big the tire is. It's pretty fat. These ones are still pretty fat, but look at that. It's huge. All right, so on my old wheels, these were nine and a half inch wide. These ones are... Well, the rear ones are 11s, uh, the front ones are 10s. So I'm probably gonna be doing somewhere. I'm gonna have to look at tire size. Um, the last guy that bought these had them on his Mustang. He had a Boss 302, so very similar to mine. I think his is like a 2012 or something like that. So it should theoretically fit on mine, but you know, I'll have to see what's available. I might be doing like 315s in the rear and 295s in the front. I'm gonna have to see, you know, what fits, what I can do, and then go from there. And for some of you that's interested in, you know, like how wide is a 325 versus a stock tire? Um, here's a stock tire off of my Stephanie's car. There. That is a 245. That's a 325. Like that's almost, that's a lot. Like that's, it's huge. So it's not exactly the stock size that I have on my car. I Mine comes with 355s, but three, uh, not 355s, 255s. Man, that, that's a big difference. 355s are huge, way bigger than those. By like that much, maybe, I don't know, somewhere in there. Like that, maybe that much, I don't know. We'll see, I'll find some someday. Well, let me go grab the Mustang real quick and see if these things fit on it. Well, that looks to be a good sign. Front one's fitting. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if the 325s fit on my car. And for all you people that don't believe me, let's see, where are they at? Right there. 
to spin around. You guys can read it. That is a 325 right there. It's gonna go on my Mustang. Cause, you know, who doesn't need more tire? Now I haven't lowered it back down on the ground yet, but it sits, it pokes out just a little bit, but I'm not seeing any kind of clearance issues at the moment. It's pretty dark in there, I can't really see, but hey, let me grab a flashlight and let's look underneath. Who needs flashlights? I have a cell phone. Flashlight. Sit back here. Doesn't look like anything's hitting on the bottom. And it doesn't look like it's rubbing on the coilover. You know, this might just work. All right, I got it on the ground now. It sits, it pokes out just a little bit, but honestly, it seems to be fairly flush. I took the brake off, let's see. I didn't see anything. I don't hear anything. Doesn't sound like anything's rubbing. Looks like everything's gonna be good. All right, so I just noticed while I was looking in here. So there's nothing that looks like these wheels are gonna rub on, but if you can see it. I don't know if you can, but get some light. There we go. Uh, my bump stop is pretty close to the bump stop mount or where the bump stops hits and my coilover kit has bump stops built into the shock so I don't really need those I'm gonna take those off because the other ones are already on there and it might help smooth up my ride since sometimes when I go over some bumps in the back it's pretty rough so it might just be hitting bottom mount all right now that I got the wheel off I can show you guys what I'm talking about so that's the factory bump stop um, when I was sitting on the ground this thing was almost it was like here it was almost such a move there's like an inch so there's really not a lot of room and my new coilovers, well, it's not really coilovers back here. It's coilovers at the front, over there, back here. And it's just a spring replacement that you can adjust. And you get these cool adjustable shocks. Well, these already have bump stops built in on them. So I don't really need that. So let's go ahead, take that off. Just a couple of bolts. There you go. That's what the factory little bump stop is. You know, now I got all that room. Maybe it'll be a little less bouncy for uh, my passengers in the back. Well, I got them all the way on now. Um, they all look like they fit pretty well. You know, they're pretty flush with the side of the car. They stick out just a little bit. All right, so when I first looked at them, I thought they were black, but now that I got some light on them, um, they actually look pretty gray. You know, they match the car, honestly. So I'm gonna take it out for a test drive now, now that I got them on, looking pretty good, if I say so myself. The back tires do stick out just a little bit, but I don't think it'll be a problem. Go drive around, see if I can take some hard turns and you know, see if there's any rubbing. Um, now that I take the bump stops out and I take a look at it, maybe I'll lower the, the rear down just a little bit. Maybe not, I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, so I got back from the test drive now. There doesn't seem to really be any rubbing at the moment. Everything seems to fit just fine. So in case you guys are curious, 325s will fit on the back of the Mustang. And right now it's 275s in the front, but we'll be going a little bit bigger with that a little bit later once I go buy some better tires. Um, these tires were a little squishy. I didn't really like the steering response on them. They seemed pretty numb. Uh, the Falcons that I usually drive on are much more responsive and I'm probably gonna have to get some of those before I go to the track. And speaking of the track, uh, I'm heading out in a couple weeks, so I do have a couple more upgrades that I need to do here soon before I go do that. So look out for my later videos, and I want to thank you guys, and I will see you next video.